Hi there! In this video I'll be answering a question about fuses. From its symbol, its purpose and how to calculate the fuse rating given the power of an electrical device, it's all in there. And a little bit more. This is a question from the 2017 National 5 paper. The rating plate in a food blender is shown. Part A then says the plugs on all modern electrical appliances in the UK are fitted with fuses rated at either 3 amps or 13 amps. Draw the circuit symbol for a fuse. So if you want to revise circuit symbols then you'll not go far wrong by watching this classic from the Mr Smith back catalogue. In it you'll find that the symbol that you're looking for is this one, a rectangle with a line through it. Now that's not to be confused with this which is the symbol for a resistor. Anyway there's a fuse. Part 2 asks us to state the purpose of the fuse fitted in a plug of an appliance. There are a few answers we could write here, from the fuse prevents the wiring from overheating if the current gets too large. 2. The fuse prevents too large a current from damaging the wiring. Or, the fuse protects the wiring from damage. A nice simple one. Next up, it's part 3. Determine the rating of the fuse fitted in the plug of the blender. Justify your answer by calculation. So, if you're scouring through the back catalogue for the circuit symbols video, then you'd be as well take a gander at this one. Which fuse to use? Which explains how to answer this type of question. The information we'll use from that rating plate is the voltage of 230 volts and the power rating of the food blender, 290 watts. We don't need to use the other piece of information, the frequency of the mains voltage, 50 Hz. The equation which links power, P, current I and voltage V is this one. P is equal to I times V. We then just substitute our values into the equation and to make current I the subject of the equation we can divide both sides by 230. That gives us I is equal to 290 divided by 230 which is 1.26 amps or to two significant figures 1.3 amps. When choosing a fuse you should use one with the lowest current rating possible. Although this must be higher than the normal operating current of the device, so a food blender with an operating current of 1.3 amps should be fitted with a 3 amp fuse. Now here's the last part of the question, but don't run off once it's done because there's some bonus content at the end. You lucky people. Part B says the blender is connected to an alternating current AC supply. Explain in terms of electron flow what's meant by alternating current. The important thing here is that our definition of alternating current has to be in terms of electron flow. How about this then? The direction of the flow of electrons switches back and forth at regular intervals. So I wouldn't get the mark if I said the current switches back and forth at regular intervals. I have to mention the electrons or the charges. I also have to make it clear that the electrons repeatedly change direction. So they all have to move in one direction, then the opposite direction, then back to the original direction, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so Finally, this isn't part of the question, but you might at some point be asked to identify whether a source is AC or DC based on an oscilloscope trace like this. So of course this is AC because the trace is both above and below the central horizontal line which represents zero volts. This however is DC since the full trace is above the central line. The same would be true if the full trace was below the central line, even if it's a squiggly line and not a straight line as we have here. So that's us for another video. If you're stuck with your physics and don't know where to turn, there's always Mr Smith's Physics Online at physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for watching.